Hey, good morning. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. I want to thank Scott for kicking us off in Proverbs. Uh, man, this is, a, this is a good time to be going through the book of Proverbs, 31 days in January. Um, follow along with us. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 9. I uh, hope you have had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's celebration. Um, all the football games are behind us now, uh, except uh, that one thing they call the Super Bowl, maybe, is coming up. Um, we'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens with that one. Hope you guys are all doing well and sticking with us. Um, remember our grip model, the GRIP, God's Word. What does the Holy Spirit reveal to you? How do you implement it and how do you pray it back? Um, do you memorize it? Uh, do you put it to use each day? Um, what do you do? What's your, what's your plan? Um, that's our model, simplistic and yet so profound as it is. Today, Proverbs chapter 9, what verse or verses rose up for you? For me, verses 8 and 9. I titled this Correction and Instruction. Here's my G, God's Word. This is out of the New Living Translation. So don't bother correcting mockers. They will only hate you. But correct the wise, and they will love you. Instruct the wise, and they will be even wiser. Teach the righteous, and they will learn even more. Here's my R, my reveal. Time spent correcting should be on the wise and not the mockers. Helping the wise to become even wiser is where we are instructed to be. Why would we want to waste our time trying to help someone who doesn't want it or even think that they need it? Isn't that the problem in our society today? Here's my I, my implementation. Think of discipleship when looking at these two verses. We want to pour into a believer who wants to learn and grow in their understanding of the scriptures. When we do this correctly, they grow and we reap blessings of their love for the word. Generations will benefit from the wisdom gained this way. You're just not affecting that one person. You're affecting all the children and grandchildren that come to that, that uh, person um, for all of eternity. So it's not just one thing. It has a long-reaching effect. Here's my P. Here's my prayer. Lord, you have shown us the way. Now help us to live it out. When taught, help us to respond appropriately. And when teaching, help us to do so with grace and with your spirit leading us. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, that's what it's about. Uh, it's about coming alongside somebody, walking arm in arm, um, and helping the wise to become even wiser. I want to pause for just a minute, and I want to tell you today is the two-year anniversary of Shelby's passing. Two years have, have flown by, uh, I'll be honest with you, um, and honestly, I can't say that it's easier, but definitely some time between when it occurred and now uh, has helped uh, the healing process to some degree. Um, I want you to remember us, think about us often, not just us. But think about all those who have lost loved ones. Um, I've got some dear, dear friends that have just had uh, losses in their families. Uh, we've got a young, uh, a young special needs child in our church that's probably doesn't have much more time on this this earth. Um, we do rejoice that we know where he'll be. Uh, we take comfort in that, just like we did with Shelby. Um, but let's remember those that are struggling, maybe having a, a difficult time, and uh, let's exercise a little grace with them and uh, just love on them, because that's what you guys did did to me and are still doing to me. Uh, still get people reaching out to me all the time, and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you. Let me pray for us on our way out. Lord, I do, uh, I do thank you that you've given us a clear model and a clear, um, clear understanding of what your words say. I thank you for this book. I thank you for the walk through it that we're doing now, Lord. And I, uh, Lord, I thank you for the wisdom that you've given Scott to allow us to do this again this year. It's it's a, a wonderful, uh, wonderful way to glean wisdom uh, that you have given through Solomon and others. Lord, I'm just uh, I'm thankful for that. I pray for these on this video today. Lord, I ask your blessings upon their lives. Uh, I pray that you uh, would speak to them through your word, uh, as I know you will. Lord, we love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, be blessed, and I will see you back bright and early tomorrow.